Hello and welcome back to day three of the half term revision video lessons. Now we're halfway through the half term break and of course hopefully you've been maximizing on the time off that you have to catch up on especially if you're in year 11 your studies and of course practicing different model answers because right now we're in the countdown to the final exams that are happening in just under three months. Now a lot of you guys asked if I could go over how to write a model response to in spectacles and more specifically the questions that came up in the 2021 exam okay. So now I'm going to be writing a model response for one of the questions. Remember that you always get a choice of two questions. One of them is theme and one of them is character. In terms of structure, I would suggest writing four main body paragraphs. And of course, if you're trying to go for gold, start off with your introduction and then end with a conclusion. So let's dive into how to write a model response for this particular exam paper. So let's examine how to answer this particular exam question. And this is the inspector calls exam paper that was issued in 2021. Now remember, inspector calls for this part of your paper, which appears along with the poetry questions, you should allocate around 50 minutes to this question. That should be around 10 minutes planning your response and obviously choosing the question, then 35 minutes writing, and then around five minutes at the end checking your response. Now let's have a look at the questions that appeared here. So you always get a choice of two questions and in this 2021 exam you had either to choose the first question which is how does Priestley use Gerald to explore ideas about responsibility? Write about what Gerald says and does. How Priestley uses Gerald to explore ideas about responsibility? This is worth 30 marks and this question asks you to focus on Gerald Croft's character meaning you're mainly focusing on Gerald Croft but then talking about how he illustrates the theme of responsibility, other themes as well as context. But let's look at the second question. So the question asks how does Priestley present society as unfair in an inspector calls and in this question which is a general theme question you're supposed to write about what can be seen as unfair in the play and how far Priestley soci presents society as unfair and as I mentioned you make sure to pick one not both questions then think about four points you can relate the um, question to okay in this case because it's to do with society you can literally make four separate points about different individual burlings or even one of the uh, paragraphs to be about Gerald this one is to do with Gerald therefore you have to focus your four points on Gerald however you can then mix it up between theme and context points okay so I have already pre-written a model response so let's actually have a look at how that was like as I mentioned when planning this response, spend the first 10 minutes reading and planning. When you're writing your responses, I would suggest adopting the peel paragraph structure, point, evidence, explanation, link. Okay, so in your point, you're answering the question directly using keywords from the question, your evidence, you're embedding your evidence. In your explanation, this is where you're now adding technique, but equally you're adding context or theme observation and then you link, you link it back to the question and spend five minutes at the end of your exam actually reading through your answer. So, when it comes to this particular paper, I decided to go for the Gerald question, how he is used to explore ideas about responsibility. And in terms of how I structured my essay, I started off with an intro, four peel paragraphs and a conclusion. So let me walk you through what I specifically wrote for this essay, starting with the introduction, okay? Introduction is a great way of already bringing your examiner in. You're making them stay on your side. You're make, showing them that you have a really good grounding of what you're gonna be talking about. And of course, in your introduction, try to also, after you've planned, reinforce some of the ideas you're going to be exp exploring in your answer. So let's have a look at the introduction. Priestley powerfully uses Gerald Croft's character to explore ideas about responsibility in an inspector calls. I've used keywords from the question relating to how responsibility is shown within the question. As you can see here, I've even highlighted that. Uh, it is evident that Gerald is keen to create an outward appearance of someone who is responsible and respectful. Nevertheless, as the play unfolds, we learn that Gerald does not feel any social responsibility towards poor working class people, nor does he accept responsibility for the role he played in Daisy Renton's suicide. So as you can see here in my introduction, I'm keeping it quite concise. I'm not spending too much time giving away what I'm going to be talking about within the essay, but I'm still showing, broadly speaking, how Gerald Croft presents ideas about responsibility, but more specifically, how he actually is very irresponsible in his behaviour towards Daisy Renton, who he refuses responsibility for. Now, as I mentioned, after I'm done with the introduction, I now start off with my first peel paragraph. So let's have a look at this particular peel paragraph that I prepared. And I'm going to walk you through the four different steps. So here's my point. 
Firstly, when we meet Gerald in the opening of the play, we can see that he attempts to present himself to the Verling family as a responsible young man. In fact, he seems keenly aware of his aristocratic heritage. So he tries to create an appearance of being a perfect gentleman. This is really, really powerful because what I've done is staged how Gerald Croft is somewhat two-faced, a little bit duplicitous. He also knows that he is, you know, a really top guy. Everyone wants kind of a piece of him. And of course, it's almost, he sees it as a privilege that he's giving to the Burlings, marrying Sheila. Here's my evidence. Priestley effectively employs stage directions to depict him as an attractive chap who is the well-bred young man. That's my evidence. I've started off my point, here's my evidence. I then add, moreover, when Inspector Gore appears, Gerald asserts that we're respectable citizens and not criminals. So here I've added two separate bits of evidence. I've used stagecraft, this is stage directions, but equally what Gerald says. Now look at my explanation. Priestley uses the adjectives attractive and well-bred technique to convey how Gerald clearly appears to be a quintessential aristocratic man. He is the perfect aristocratic man. Additionally, the alliteration in Gerald's language, when he refers to the family as citizens and not criminals, illustrates how highly he views himself. This thus makes Gerald seem all the more irresponsible. I'm now linking it to responsibility. As a person, when we learn that he had been living a double life when he kept Daisy Renton as a mistress. So I've really delved into the technique that uh, Priestley is using and I've mentioned how he's been irresponsible towards Daisy Renton, but I'm not done in my explanation because now I'm layering in context. Contextually, Gerald is used to represent the aristocratic elite in Edwardian England who believed they were perfect and above the law. They acted irresponsibly in secret, yet they ensured they created false facades of appearing to be perfect. That's my explanation and this is where I've layered in context. Now I'm going to link it back to the question. Thus, Gerald's character is used by Priestley to illustrate how duplicitous, two-faced many upper-class men were. He carefully cultivates the appearance of being perfect, yet he acts extremely irresponsibly as he uses Daisy Renton. That's my first full peel paragraph relating to how Gerald is presented in terms of responsibility. And of course, I'm making the argument that he is really irresponsible. So here's my second peel point. Secondly, Priestley reveals that Gerald felt no responsibility to stay faithful to Sheila Burling, even if he was engaged to her. In fact, Gerald disregards her anger when she confronts him about his disappearance and he distracts her by giving her a ring, revealing he did not respect her. This is my second point relating to how Gerald is shown in terms of responsibility, but now here I'm making the point that he is irresponsible in his behavior towards Sheila Burling. Here's my evidence. Gerald produces a ring case when Sheila seemed upset with him. Yet he later confesses that he had a mistress and he became at once the most important person in her life. Again, I've added two bits of evidence to illustrate how he's been so two-faced to his fiancée, Sheila. Priestley, this is now my evidence, or rather this is my, now my explanation, the second E in my pill paragraph. Priestley uses a declarative sentence in the stage directions to draw our attention to the fact that Gerald simply ignored Sheila's questions and he lied to her. The hyperbole in his confession later shows that he actually enjoyed having a mistress, thus he felt no responsibility towards protecting his relationship with Sheila. Now here I'm going to tie it into the theme of gender. I'm still my explanation as you can see, but I'm layering in a theme discussion. Priestley uses the theme of gender to show how little power women had as both Daisy and Sheila were used by Gerald. It is clear that Gerald enjoyed having power and control over them and he felt no responsibility to be compassionate to them. That's my explanation where I've added technique. So it's Priestley's use of technique, but equally theme. So now this is my link back to my question. Consequently, Gerald's character is used by Priestley to show how little responsibility many upper-class men felt towards their fiancés and their wives. Gerald clearly felt no duty or responsibility, keyword from the question, to stay faithful to Sheila. That's my second peel paragraph. So now moving on to my third. Thirdly, it's clear that Gerald felt no social responsibility towards poor working class people. In fact, he seemed to agree with Mr. Burling that working class people's pay should be reduced in order for their business profits to expand. Similarly, he felt no responsibility toward, to Daisy or her survival when their affair was over. That's my third point. Now here's my evidence. Gerald shouts, hear, hear. When Mr. Burling expresses he wants lower costs and higher prices, he also calls Daisy Gallant, another bit of evidence, for accepting the end of their affair. So I've used two separate bits of evidence once more here. Now I'm moving into my explanation. Priestley uses repetition to convey how little social responsibility Gerald felt towards 
poor working class people. The adjective gallant shows how coldly he cast Daisy away, even if he knew she was poor. Priestley uses Gerald to illustrate the theme of class, again I've mentioned theme here, as the vast poverty in society in Edwardian England was a direct consequence of the little responsibility rich people like Gerald felt in paying the poor fairly. That's my explanation, where now I've layered in a th another theme discussion, but in this case I'm talking about class. Now linking it back. Thus it is clear that Gerald felt little social responsibility towards the poor, nor did he feel any responsibility for Daisy's well-being when the affair ended. People like him made class divisions worse in England. That's my third Peel paragraph. Now here's my final Peel point before I then move on to my conclusion. Finally, even if Gerald realises the role he played in the death of Daisy, he refuses to accept any responsibility. In fact, by the end of the play, he is jubilant, which means happy to discover that Inspector Gould does not exist and he refuses to change how he treats poor working class women. That's my fourth and final point. Here's my evidence. Gerald dismisses Eric's concerns in Act 3 by asking, what girl? There are probably four or five different girls. That's my evidence. Now, here's my explanation. Priestley repeats the diminutive noun girl diminutive meaning um, making someone seem younger or smaller than they are, to illustrate how degrading Gerald's opinions of working class women were. His refusal to take on any responsibility depicts the theme of social responsibility as he shows the main reason why poor women felt powerless was because the rich refuse to be accountable for their actions. Gerald reflects the idea that he has, a, uh, rejects rather, so Gerald rejects the idea that he has a social responsibility to help poor women like Daisy, meaning his attitude never changes. Thus, now I'm linking it back to the question, Priestley uses Gerald's character to show us how he refuses to accept any social responsibility. He does his best to cover up the part he played in Daisy's death and he rejects any responsibility towards her. So what I've done in my uh, essay so far, I started off with the introduction, right? So I've made sure that from my introduction and throughout, I've made uh, it clear that I'm exploring how Gerald is used to reveal responsibility. Then I've added my first opening point and I made a context link to this in my explanation, made my second pill paragraph point, And in this case, I made a theme connection to this, the theme of gender. Then in my third paragraph, once more, I added the theme of social class. And now finally, I finished off by discussing another context point and this idea of um, social responsibility and the little social responsibility the rich felt they had towards the poor. Now I finish off by closing and tying up my essay almost like a bit of a bow, okay? So really adding the cherry or rather the icing on top of the cake. In conclusion, Priestley powerfully uses Gerald to explore ideas about responsibility. As we learn, he refuses to accept any responsibility for his actions. He does not take on any responsibility in protecting his relationship with Sheila, as, she, as he is unfaithful. Moreover, he rejects any responsibility towards Daisy and he does not feel socially responsible for helping the poor in society. And that's really it when it comes to how to write a grade nine model response, specifically, for the June 2021 exam question. And in this case, I approached how to answer the Gerald Croft question. So I hope this helped and thank you so much for listening.